Hi guys. So we're gonna make a pocket for this. Oh, sorry, a tag for this pocket, which is quite big. So that's about 19 centimeters. I guess almost 20 since my page is like 21 centimeters. So I'm just gonna go through my stash. I have a couple of pages that would look really, really nice. I got them from Action. There's like a, a beach page, but we do need enough to make like eight really big tags. So something this small might not be big enough. So I'm just gonna have a look at all of the all of the ones I have. So there are some really nice beach ones uh, from the Action Pad, like these. I really, really like the um, like the foam and the waves. I think these are the best, probably. So, so let's just use them. I think here I might not have enough, and this is a little bit too dark. So I'm not sure I like those, so let's just remove them. And then, so we have these ones. I think I'm going to have to use three pages, so two of the tags are going to be a little bit different. And then we're not going to see this woman, <laughs> because it's just the perfect size. So let's just cut it. So as I said, it's uh, 20 centimeters in height and then 10 centimeters wide which is perfect since the page is 30 centimeters so that's three um, three tags per page so that's 19 times 10 all right let's cut it first off we cut up wrong side here the 19 centimeters I have to open it up sorry there we go just making sure I don't cut it wrong done yeah I really like these waves they look so nice the back is a bit less interesting but it's gonna be quite hidden so that should be fine. All right, so then it's about 10 centimeters. There we go. Times three. So that's just perfect. Okay, let's just fast forward till I make the other, um, the other tags. So this page is different but since it's pretty much the same waves I thought it would look just as nice. Alright so here we have the tags and I'm just gonna cut, uh, I'm gonna ink them and then I'm just gonna cut off the, the little triangles uh, at the top to make sure that it looks like a tag I guess. I quite like the back of these ones, they're like waves as well, it's quite nice. Okay, so now let's cut. Very simple method to make sure that you get the same sides on uh, both sides, like the same one. You just take it, turn it around and you just cut it. Very simple, very easy to use. Okay, so now let's just do all of them, so I'm just gonna cut pretty much the same thing because I'm quite happy with how they look and then I'm just gonna uh, ink all of them. Just make sure you use the same triangle because it might get bigger and bigger and bigger otherwise make sure you use the same one. Okay so that's all of them done perfect size and now let's ink them all. 
This tag is really simple. I really just want to leave the, the waves on one side. Very, very simple. And then on the other side, I have this amazing picture that I really like with like these. It's like a vintage picture photograph of some women from the, maybe it's the 20s, I think, who are just posing as mermaids. Um, I can't remember where I found this picture. It's definitely an open rights uh, and I really, really like it. It's on my Pinterest if you want to, to find it. So now let's just decorate it. So that's the picture I just told you about. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of a book page to just add an interest to the background. And then maybe some brown paper at the top to keep on doing a background. I'm gonna um, crunch it up a little bit and then I will ink it to give it some uh, some texture. So that's it. And it's just, I don't want the, the line to be too straight. I want it to be a bit more organic, natural. And then it's just stick it. So I'm using my usual UHU stick, which I'm pretty happy about. Oh yeah, so let's just crunch it up a little bit. Give it a bit of texture. Could have probably done it a bit more, but that's fine. I'll just do it a bit more in the other ones. And then let's just think about a quote. So I did, if you have seen my other videos, you'll see I printed uh, a few quotes and like a poem about the sea and other really interesting um, proverbs and stuff on, on the sea and the ocean. Um, and then all I did was just put them on a the paper, put different types, typos, polys, right? And then just print it out and uh, coffee dye it. Well, actually tea dye it. I don't, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> so tea is much better for me. And now let's just think of a quote to put underneath this. Probably something to do maybe with women or mermaids. <laughs> Yeah, just stick the edges properly. The edges are the most important part. If you don't stick the edges, um, it might just get ripped off. So the edges are the most important. Well, everything is important, really. Just stick it really well. And so this is another quote by Cousteau at the back. And yeah, let's just put something at the top to make it a bit more interesting. It looks really plain at the moment. I have some scraps here. Um, sorry, some ephemera that I've printed out. Let's just see what would look better. Oh, I like that. I do like that. The size is perfect. Yeah, let's just put this one. Let's see where where it should be the best. I think that's the best. Let's glue the edges. And that 
that's it pretty much now all that's left is the little hole in putting an eyelet so I'm just gonna measure the middle and then I'll do it about one centimeter from the top So I'm using my crocodile, crop, crocodile, yeah, crocodile. It's the golden one. It's a pretty simple. Um, I just did some magic and put everything away. If you haven't noticed, <laughs> and I'm gonna use, I think, more of a. Yeah, I wanted to use maybe some blue, but I think that just. Yeah, it doesn't look so good. It's just not, it doesn't stand out well enough. So I think it's going to be more of a vintage, darker color. Maybe this large one. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do this. I never really know what to do with the large ones. I do like them, but they're so big. Sometimes it's a bit hard to use. Actually, I really, really like the mini eyelets. I think they're they're the best. They're so cute. But I haven't been able to get them, really. If you know where you can get these, Okay, so crocodile is, I'm not a, I haven't used it for a while. So this is a book I'm making about like methods and ideas. You know, like these are like embellishments. And I put all these ideas that I see on YouTube, like techniques and also like the crocodile and eyelids and everything so that's easier for me to find whatever I need and here I know what to use um, for big eyelids I'm just not used to the crocodile yet Okay, so it's a, it's a big, so it's just silver and silver, so I think that's right. Just checking the letters, make sure I haven't got it wrong. such a klutz today okay let's do this oh actually this darker one is better stands out a lot more and then it's a lot more vintage exactly like the mermaids on the picture all right eyelid done looks good and well That's the end of the video and um, that's done. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye. Just